once again, ladies and gentlemen, DMC in the place to be. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? Good. I gotta hold the mic like this because it makes me feel comfortable because I get scared when I have to speak. So if I'm holding a mic like this, it feels like I'm up on stage rapping. Um, first, let me start by saying this. Even though when we're, you know, I was part of the group on DMC, first to go gold, first to go platinum, first on the cover of Rolling Stone, first on MTV, first on American Bandstand, first with the big tours, first with the sneaker deals, first to do everything that everybody in hip hop is now doing or even wants to do. But I had to wait to find out that all this King of Rock stuff was just a setup for like what I was supposed to do. I, I am you. I am you. I'm, I'm just an example to all of you kids, all of you youth, no matter what you're going through, and also to all the lawmakers and policy makers. I am what happens when you give opportunity. See, y'all young people nowadays, you got a little advantage. Well. Actually, it's a, a big advantage because y'all got technology. You know, when y'all look up something, y'all would just go right to the computer. I had to read the encyclopedia. I had to go to the library. I had to pull out books and volumes of books to find my information. Let me tell you, whatever it is that's your passion, whatever, if you like flowers, man, and you're a dude, you better love flowers. You better, you better be the most gangster flower lover there is. I tell dudes, if you like ballet, put that tutu on and go do your ballet. Because you could be doing that ballet on a stage in Moscow. You could be doing that ballet or playing that violin or that flute at Carnegie Hall. But when you take what it is, if it's your education and your smarts and your brains, or your art, or your desire to plant flowers, somebody sees it's worth something. See, everything that you like, everything that you love, everything that's your passion, it was given to you because that's your key to use. Not just for yourself, but to make the whole world better. See, hip hop is about y'all young people realizing regardless of your situation, you are the future. You can make change. And if you work to make the change and educate yourself and empowers you, you become the change. You know, he wasn't afraid. Don't be afraid of good things. There's people telling you, there's a million negative people telling you negative things. Don't do your assignment. Don't go to school. Don't, get, don't, don't go the hard way. Go the easy way. Take, sell the drugs. Be in the game. Do the sick ups. Ride in the houses. The good way. The good way. The good safe way. That's the way for you all to go. No matter how hard your current situation is. I always say we got to change the way that we speak in front of our young people about our young people. I hate, we have to do something for the underprivileged. You're not underprivileged. If they're so underprivileged, I always tell my leaders, my politicians, if they're so underprivileged, give them a privilege. They don't just do well, they excel. If the problem is education, give them education. If the problem is there's no arts in the community, give them an arts. Look, listen, I hope the deficit that we in, the trillion, billion, gazillion deficit, I hope a trillion dollars of that one day can be because we put so much money in the education and arts for the kids. Because we will get a return on that. You have an assignment. Everything that you do as a young person, following rules and all of that, don't look at that as, as torture anymore. Look at that as practice. Because there's rules in the whole game of life. And being shadow shows you that. You know what I'm saying? You can't just wake up and stop poverty and wake up and stop crime. You gotta work and fight. The same way I had to work to get my record heard. Same way I had to knock down the doors to make Adidas believe, well, y'all don't even play sports. Yeah, but we rhyme. Give me an Adidas deal. But they saw that we was worth it. They had to look and see what it was about us. A lot of y'all are in unfortunate situations, traumatic situations, crazy situations. And, Sen and um, Congresswoman Bass told me, she wants y'all, she said, um, 
Our leaders and our policymakers, they can read statistics, st statistics every day, but it's best if we hear it from you. And that's why I come here, because y'all give me strength. I went through an alcoholic, suicidal, metaphysical depression when I found out that I was adopted. Why? What's the matter with me? Why did my mother put in love my boyfriend? Then I found out I was a foster kid. I was like, oh my God, it gets worse. Then I found out I was a water state, so it just don't end. Your situation will never end because it's part of your story. So my unfortunate situation, I found out that I'm adopted, and that made me say, that means I got another mother, this and that, a father. I know what that word means. Is it? And for the longest time, I was depressed. And the longest time I felt alone, this was before Jam Master J got shot in the head and killed in the studio. My life went like this. I found out that I was adopted and everybody knew. Jam Master J gets shot and killed and my father died. So I'm sitting there and all of this is going on. And everybody's telling me you shouldn't be the pressure of DMC, the king of rock. Let me tell you, success means nothing without significance. You have a mission. So I call my mom, I'm hey mom, I'm writing a book. I know my birthday's May 31st, 1964. I just need a couple more details about the day I was born. How much did I weigh, what time, what hospital? She told me those three things. I love you, love you. Hung up the phone. An hour goes by, the phone rings, it's my mother and my father. Now, I'm an alcoholic, suicidal, metaphysical, spiritual wreck that's about to jump off the damn building. And my mother and father go, hey, we have something else to tell you. I thought it was gonna be something funny, trivial, and amusing, like this. You was a month old when we brought you home and you're adopted, but we love you, bye. <laughs> it took me four years to get enough um, enthusiasm to go find my birth mother. But when I got to meet my birth mother, she goes like this. I know you're dying to know why I gave you up. Lady, that is an understatement of the world. <laughs> she said, I gave you up to give you a chance. I gave, and all of a sudden, you gave me one hell of a chance. It was my birth mother's job to get me here. But it was Byford and Bannon who I rhymed about. In 1986, I did a rhyme on, on Run DMC's most powerful album, Raising Hell album. We had Walk This Way by Adidas Peter Piper. Son of Byford, brother of Al. Tanner's my mother and runs my pal. It's McDaniels, not McDonald's. These rhymes are Daryl's, those burgers are Ronald's. I ran down my family tree. My mother, my father, my brother, and me. That my therapist says that was you proclaiming your legacy. Therapy is cool and gangster. Okay, I'm too much to go. Go to therapy. It's cool and gangster. My birth mother got me here. And then Byford and Banner came along and got me where I was supposed to go. They took me from Harlem to, to Queens so I could meet Run, Joseph Simmons, we went to the same school. Run DMC, LL Cool J, Public Enemy, Karis, one of the Beastie Boys. We didn't just change music, we changed the world. But how do we do that? We worked together and we wasn't ashamed to tell the people, yeah, this is where I came from, but here's where I'm going. And that's what this day is about. I represent what happens when you give every young person, regardless of their situation, those opportunities, because they don't do well, they do excel. A couple of years ago, I did this rhyme, and this is for y'all, because it starts from where you go, where you start to where you go. And my rhyme goes, it's called gangsta hard rock, non-stop hip hop. From the corner of the block to the top of the chart. For every race, place, color, country, county, or creed. And all of the places that I am seed. B-boy badness to the highest degree. And there's no hip hop if it ain't no D. If you're watching TV, be watching for me. They be clocking DMC like they jocking Jay-Z. You can tell by the rhyme that I'm in my prime. Beast to the rhyme when I say this line. D, that's me, the king, the MC. I rock a microphone so thoroughly. I'll be the king, you could be my queen. I'm not being cocky or being mean. But before the song is over, let me say one thing. Forget Michael Jackson, DMC is the king. I love you and thank you for having me.